hello guys uh, welcome back in this video let's have a look on the pattern stamp tool so in the toolbox you could able to see here under the clone stamp you have pattern stamp tool so unlike clone stamp tool it uh, in clone stamp tool you sample a part of the picture and then you keep stamping them whereas pattern stamp tool stamps something which you have here in the patterns so you got the brush and then you can start painting it and it gives you the pattern which is going to stamp continuously okay however we don't have the option to scale this uh, pattern here okay so you have uh, different types of patterns which you can start painting here and uh, if you have any custom uh, texture or pattern you can generally use them for example i have this uh, flower bouquet i'm using a marquee selection and then i go to the edit and then say define pattern so that makes up a pattern there and then when you come here and then choose the pattern and then select that pattern and then you get the pattern getting scaled uh, painted over there so every time i'm painting uh, it's actually not matching the stroke for that what you have to do is you need to okay this this uh, image is too big so i'm going to take the brush uh, the image size to 600 pixels it, it becomes a small uh, image then i'm going to choose the marquee selection tool then go to edit and then define the pattern i come here take the brush oh uh, sorry clone stamp and then choose the new stamp and then you should get the smaller size so as you could see the size of this is really in the hand of the image from where you have stamped and uh, later thing is when I'm taking a new stroke it's not matching up and that is because the option called aligned is switched off there so you can generally switch it on and then when you paint it okay and if you go for a next stroke that continuity is generally happening there and then you should able to see uh, the result uh, which is basically as neat tiles if you switch this off uh, it doesn't match for every stroke it is going to put a randomized thing and you have a option here called uh, impressionist it's like uh, impressionist is uh, like a paint job effect uh, used by traditional artists so when you just click and drag every stroke what you are getting here is uh, basically sampling one pixel from the pattern so it's throwing that random colors over there okay so you can try using different patterns there which is going to give you that random colors from the picture what you got there okay so uh, we have uh, flow and uh, opacity options it's uh, just like any other uh, brush options where you can control the opacity of the stroke and the flow of the stroke there okay and then you got uh, your option of uh, pen tablet uh, if you are using pen tablet and uh, you want the less intensity and high intensity sorry opacity of the stroke to be working you can switch it on you got size working for pen pressure okay so uh, sometimes it's like uh, a third dimension stroke okay what i have done is i have taken this one here and then i went to this particular file and i select the work path take a new layer uh, make sure that i have uh, selected my clone stamp tool settings to something what I really want there once that is done switch to the pen tool okay I've created this with the pen tool just right click and then just choose stroke path and then pattern stamp so you've got this uh, skin which is seamless texture you can go to the edit and define pattern and that becomes a skin texture and then you can start painting um, with your clone stamp tool okay just by picking that way and then you get the skin texture make sure that the 
impressionist is switched off sometimes uh, we want to create um, random colors of this skin okay you want to hand paint that and that is where you can use impressionist okay and then you can use the texture brush uh, which is going to be this kind of splatter impressionist is on and then you can go for the size jitter angle jitter and then scatter and then you know what it gives it it gives that strokes which are basically uh, random colors of that skin patch okay so you want to hand paint a texture with your custom brush and you are facing problem in picking colors this should be a great uh, option for you however you can go to the color dynamics and slightly do that brightness and saturation jitters to take an extra control over the skin texture what you are painting so this is greatly useful uh, for uh, the people who are painting skin textures digital painting and 3d texturing so skin texture is quite simple from there okay so you have completely hand painted this texture just by taking a skin patch there